Today, I'm going to introduce you to a special series, a series I call Redesignify, where I'm going to redesign a flyer we have already done on this studio with Corel Draw. So, without wasting much time, let's just jump straight into Corel Draw. So, this is the particular flyer I'll be redesigning with Corel Draw. And if you have Corel Draw installed on your PC, why not just jump to your PC and let's get this done so these are the resources i'll be using for this particular tutorial i have all my pictures the icons and everything i'm going to use and that'll be cool and nice so um let's open corel draw once you open up corel draw you have this uh workspace and next thing you want to do is to click on file click on new and it brings up this dialog box where you have to create the document which we are going to design on okay so we have the file name, the presets, um, pretty much I'm going to leave it at default, okay? Number of pages, I'll leave it at one. And my primary color mode will be RGB and page size. I'm going to customize this page size because we are designing a flyer for social media, okay? It's a program that will be advertised on social media. So I'm going to set my units to pixels, okay? Pixels, then I'm going to set it to 2000 by 2 thousand pixels just like that and your resolution should be 300 dpi and that looks very cool and very nice hit on okay and once you are done with that it brings up this canvas where we are going to design on and with corel draw we all know that before you start designing with corel draw you start by creating a shape where you're going to put everything on that shape okay so I'm going to click on my rectangle tool. Then you click on the rectangle tool. You create this uh, custom shape just like that. We are going to make this rectangle shape 2000 by 2000 pixels. So it matches exactly what we have on our canvas. Okay, so let's set the size to 2000 by 2000 pixels. Hit on OK and that's cool. So you can see the rectangle shape is not exactly on the canvas the way it's supposed to be so for us to get that done we are going to press p on the keyboard and when you press p on the keyboard it places the shape on the canvas or the page exactly the way it's supposed to be so you're going to click on your pick to then right click on where we have this uh, red slash here so we can click on set outline color and it takes off the outline on this shape you can see there is no outline here anymore I pretty much am making this design with Corel Draw 2021. So if there isn't any lower version, just follow up the tutorial and you're going to understand this because whatever I apply here, it works on every other version on Corel Draw. So we are going to bring in the resources we have to start working on our background. But then let's bring in the background. We have this uh, city background burning with fire just here oh no so i'm going to drag and drop it inside coil draw just like that and this is the background okay so we're going to power click this background inside um this shape here and to power click that we're going to right click and drop inside the shape i click on power click inside there are so many ways to power click inside um coil draw there are so many ways to power click but I'm going to show you another method you can do that. You can either right click on the image and then you see power clip inside. Then uh, you have this arrow where you can click on where you want to power clip as simple as that. But I like working with this other pattern where I have to right click and drag on the shape and you have options to choose that I'm going to click on power clip inside. And automatically the image power clips goes inside the shape. So to adjust this um, image, you're going to hold alt on your keyboard when you hold alt you click on the image you will be able to select the image inside the shape as simple as that then you're going to place this here and increase this that's cool take it up again take it up and place somewhere around here looks perfect but following the original design we have we're going to flip this image and to flip this image so we have this city on this other side and this other city on this other side so i'm going to click on mirror horizontally and it, it invades itself just like that as simple as that we're going to click outside the design then click on the shape again to select the shape and give it a black color give it black okay so when you give it black color you see how it matches itself just like that 
it's very cool and very nice then i'm going to bring in the image okay the subject let's say the subject because that's the key image we have on the design so this is the image we are going to use i'm going to hold shift to reduce the four sides you know when you hold shift on your keyboard and reduce the size it reduces the four sides but when you lift shift it reduces only one side so hold shift and reduce the four sides right click and drop on your shape and click on power click inside so the image goes inside the shape just like what we did before okay so you hold alt and select the image just like that remember whenever you hold alt and click on any object inside the power click it selects that object for example if i hold alt and click again it's going to select the barbell if I hold alt and click again it's going to select the shape hold alt click again it's going to select the image hold alt and click again it's going to select the background so continuously holding alt and clicking select different objects inside the power clip as simple as that so i'm going to do that again select the image then place it where it's supposed to be and this position looks very cool and nice for read and for this, we are going to open up the power clip so we'll be able to make adjustments, okay? And to do that, we are going to click on the shape, hold control, and click to open the power clip. It's very simple, okay? So let's 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 do that again. It's either you click on the shape and click on edit here, right here, and it opens up, but you can still do the same thing here. Hold control and click, it opens up the power clip. Then you click on the background. When you click on the background, click on your transparency tool and click and drag. Hold shift so we have a straight transparency just like this. When you hold shift, it's going to go on a straight line. So it fades the down part of this background with the um, shape color, okay? Then we're going to do the same thing here. Click on the image here and create a uh, transparency just down there, just like that that's cool right? nice okay click on finish once you're done with that or you can go control and click outside your design to close the power clip you can see how cool it is but you see the barbell is conflicting with the image let's see i'm going to open up this background again then we're going to add transparency on the image itself so we can reduce the 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 light and make it look cool on the eye okay so let's open up this and remember we added the transparency on this background so we can't add another transparency unless we have to bitmap this image and to do that we are going to click on bitmap and click on convert to bitmap then click on ok and once you're done with that it's going to bitmap the background and then you can add any other transparency you want to add so click on finish to close up this power clip okay then hold alt and click on the background click on the transparency and click on uniform transparency and when you click on uniform transparency you can see it reduces the light on the background makes the background look cool to the eye okay so that's that's cool and the next thing we are going to bring here is the theme for this particular um flyer okay so one thing that attracts your viewer when you are making church flyers just like this you know i'm trying to make this tutorial as simple as possible so everybody can follow up and you understand this as easy as possible so one thing you can use to attract the attention of your viewer is making your focal point as interesting as possible creative interesting and attractive okay so let's bring in um what we have here now i have this word document that contains all the information that will be on the flyer so i'm opening it up so we can work on that so this is the word document and i'm going to highlight the team which is resurgence okay then we're going to open Corel draw and click on where you have your text to or the shortcut to that is f8 so you can just click on f8 and your text tool opens up just like that click and when you have this cursor blinking just here just like that press ctrl v to paste okay then you're going to click on either maintain font and formatting because you are going to format this of course so just click on ok and then it pops up just like that then we're going to increase the size then the font i'm going to use for this is going to be um header green okay so go to where you have your font is and type header green okay so 
That's cool. This is Hida Green. You can give it a bright color, white, or any color of your choice. Then click and drag it here. Hold shift and increase the size just like that and place it around here. And this looks cool and nice. So once you're done with that, we are going to add contour to this um, text. Okay. We're going to create a kind of text effect here. And to add contour, we are going to open up our contour tool. And when you click and it opens up these other tools. When, when you see an arrow, it means there are other tools inside there. So when you click and hold, where you have your shadow tool, you see contour. When you click on contour, you're going to see these options up here that shows you different icons you can work on to adjust your contour. Okay, so click on outside contour. And when you click on that, you can see this dark, this black contour showing up here. And you can adjust your contour by just clicking and dragging or reducing it just like that to match whatever you want. Then there are different things you can do with your contour here. You can click on and set it to round corners just like that. So you have these round corners around here and you can change the color of your contour to whatever color you want here. Okay. So for this, I'm going to set it to um, a dark brown. Okay. And if you don't want to adjust your contours here, there are different things you're going to do and I'm going to show you exactly what going to do so let's simply um break this content and to break your contour you can press ctrl k on your keyboard and you, you are able to break your contour just like that so breaking your contour means you can separate your contour from your original text just like that okay ctrl z and then the contour comes back to its original position then you can choose any color you want to place on your contour just like that so I'm going to give it um, this. Remember, I have two colors on my screen. I have RGB colors. I have CMYK colors. RGB here, CMYK. They are different color modes. Okay, so I can work with both of them interchangeably. So click on this um, walnut and then uh, hold Control and add a little of ruby red, and then you begin to have this uh brownish uh color just like that it looks cool and nice then you're going to add a little transparency to it so click on your transparency tool and click on um uniform transparency then we're going to adjust the level of uniform transparency and we're going to uh decrease the transparency so it pops up a little you can make the transparency 28 okay 28 is cool then we get to give this uh white takes um, a good color and to have that good color we are going to add this gradient so you click on gradient interactive field tool or just hit on g on your keyboard to activate your interactive field tool then click and drag and you have these two color points we have one here and another one here so if you double click on this one you'll be able to add colors to it okay if you click on this you'll be able to open up this uh space where you can add col colors to it so i'm going to set this to rgb then i'm going to type the color code i'm going to use here so to have this perfect looking good color you're going to type in this particular gold gradient code i have here f c b four seven six okay and then you're going to hit on okay and you have this color here then you click on this other side, open up this, and set this to RGB, okay? Okay, so click on this other side and open this up, and then you can set this to RGB also. And type in this color, 968503. Okay, so that's cool. And this color code forms the good color you want. Once you're done with that, just click anywhere outside, but then you get this good gradient then we are going to adjust this good gradient by clicking on elliptical fountain view and when you click on that it makes the brighter part of the gradient to come to the center and the darker part to go outside and you can always reverse this if you want to you can always click on uh, reverse view and it makes the darker part to come to the center and the brighter part outside so we are going to leave it as default okay the darker part should be outside and the brighter part should be inside. Then you can adjust the view just like that. Adjust again and it looks very cool and nice. So this is what we get. 
So I like this or and press Ctrl G, then place it at the center of your design. If you can't place it at the center, just press P on your keyboard and it places itself at the center of your page. Then you can hold Shift and bring it down a little, just like that. Okay. So we're going to do a little tweaking here. We're going to rotate this resurgence a little. So we have this uh, style of the click on these uh, resurgence and you have these curves. You hold on this rotate and rotate it this way. Just rotate it at um, 3.821 uh, degrees. Okay, so we have 3.821 degrees thing just like that. If you rotate again, they have 14.543 degrees. So we leave it at 3.821 degrees. You can see the rotation. Yeah, it's very simple. Okay, so once you're done with that, we're going to bring in this dove. We have here bring it to Corel Draw and drop it out here. Then we're going to uh, reduce the dove and place it somewhere around here. Then uh, we're going to place it inside the shape. So you right click on that and click on uh, click inside, click on your shape to place it inside the shape, just like that. Hold Alt and select the dove. Then we're going to make some effect here. As you do that, we're going to click on effect adjust tone okay so when you click on effect adjust tone curve then when you click on your tone curve you have your default tone if you have already so you can reset that to normal then click on the highlight and pick it up okay and click on the dark tones and bring it down just like that so we have the darker parts popping out and the uh, highlights popping out just like that you click on okay then click on your transparency tool and click on your match mode then click on screen so screen will hide the darker part of the image and increase the brighter part of the image and we get something that looks like this okay so you bring it down a little and place the dove around yeah then we're going to adjust this dove so the color of the dove matches with the background so adjust that you're going to click on effect adjust and color balance and the shortcut for that is ctrl shift and keep Okay, so click on your color balance. Then we're going to increase our uh, red. Okay, let's reset this first and increase red and give it more yellow. So it has a lot of yellow chunks like that. So you see, you can see it uh, it matches with the background just like what we have there. So you can make your scan to red uh, uh, line to be 18 and then yellow minus 43 look at okay and we get something that looks like this this is cool right this is cool and if you're enjoying this tutorial make sure you leave a like on this video and share it with a friend so we're going to bring in other details we have to complete this particular design and to do that we're going to bring in the logo okay stretch logo bring it here Let's see the reduce this uh, and place it around here. Reduce that. Okay, reduce that again. Place it around here. That's cool and um, nice. Okay, let's reduce the logo again. That's cool. Then we're going to copy this text we have here. Um, open Microsoft Word and copy this text. And I'm going to link up all the resources I use for this tutorial in the description so you can check it out and make your own design so i'm going to open up this and paste your text here just like that discard font and formatting it's okay so so i'm going to paste the text here and maintain font and formatting it on okay so you can see we can break this text just like that okay So this is what we get. Highlight all and give it a white color so it can pop out on this background just like that. Then we need to use another font here, Bonumen Extended. Okay, so that's the font you're going to use. Yeah, so you can highlight uh, Stretch Discipleship Summit and open up Monument Extended so you can see other versions of this font and use a bolder version of Monument Extended. Click on your shape tool and adjust the leading okay the leading is the line in between the things okay so 
click and drag and place it close to where we have the logo just right here. This looks cool and nice. So once you place this here, you can increase the size of the font again and highlight February edition 2023. And let's give it this uh, pale yellow, just like that. Um, you can see this yellow color here, pale yellow, it looks cool and nice. But the background is contrasting with this text. The background is conflicting with the text. So we are going to reduce the transparency on the background again. Hold Alt and select the background, then click on Transparency Tool. And we're going to increase the transparency to 62. Increase it again to 70. Okay, this looks perfect and nice. Then highlight February edition 2023 and click on um let's use light yellow and this will be cool and nice. Increase the font again and this is perfect. Then we can adjust our leading again because the text is looking clustered. So we're going to click on shape tool and adjust the leading just like that. And this is very perfect. Okay, this is very, very perfect. And next thing we are going to do is to add shapes below the design and the shapes are going to have red color, green color and blue color. And this will help us to understand how to match different colors in a particular design you know many people have trouble have problem choosing colors for their design and they fear using different colors but i'm going to show you how to get this done i'm going to click on a uh, rectangle tool create a shape just like this and you're going to have red okay and this red we're going to hold control add black to it to have a darker red just like this so we have three different shapes okay the very first one is red and we're going to duplicate this and to duplicate in CorelDRAW you simply press Ctrl D but if you don't want to do that you can you can click hold shift click and drag and the reason why we are holding shift is to make this shape to be on a straight line so hold shift click and drag then you will remain on this straight line just like that then you right click on your mouse before you leave and then we're going to do it again and this time around we are going to give this other shape blue color okay so i'm going to click on this uh deep navy blue with the rgb color mode hold control and click on black to add this uh dark blue color then click on the very last one i give it this green forest green okay then hold control and add black to it so we have red blue and green so we're going to match these three shapes inside this design okay so once you are done creating this shape just like this and we're going to use this shape to create different steps and the first one we're going to click on this blue and reduce it this way and take it up a little too close to the red just like that and then click on the green and take it up a little just like that then we're going to select the three shapes and Press Ctrl G to group that and right click and drag to where we have our main shape for the design and leave. Then click on power click inside. So you have something that looks like this. You can see the colors are already, already blending with the design. So let's adjust these shapes. Hold on Alt and select the shapes and bring it down just like that. Click again and click on rotate to rotate this shape just like that. Take it up a little then you have something like this okay so we're going to click on ungroup all objects so we can edit all these shapes separately okay so click on the alt click on your blue shape and take it up a little click on red and take it close to you a little so you have just little space around here and click on green take it close to blue a little then you have something that looks like this so i'm going to add a gold shape just down here before i continue this whole stuff so for me to do that i'm going to open this power clip so click on edit open up the power clip and then using your pen tool click on where you have your pen tool click on the pen tool and then create this shape just like that click anywhere outside and take it inside just like that click outside here and take it to where we have our original node okay and then 
uh, we have to find this node. Double click anywhere. If you can't find your node, then right click on any color and set outline color so you'll be able to see where you have menu. So you can click on the node and click on this to join that node. And then we have this shape just like that. And then we're going to copy this shape because I want to use this shape to trim the other shapes we have here. Press Ctrl C on your keyboard to copy and then hold Shift, select the green color and you see this option where you have to click on trim and every other uh, stuff there. So you click on trim and when you click on trim, it cuts off this shape just like that, as simple as that. So you can hold Shift and select the blue shape also and click on trim and it trims the blue shape also. So you delete this one. So the reason why I copied the black shape was just in case if we lose this black shape, I can paste it and use it again. So since we still have the black shape here, we're going to click and bring it down a little just like that. And I'm going to give this black shape the gold gradient we had on our text. So you click on finish and then we're going to click on our gold gradient text on group that so you can click on just the text and copy that text and then open up the bar clip click on the ship click on edit and then paste your text the reason why we are bringing this text inside the bar clip is so we can copy the gradient and fill it on the black shape so to fill the gra gradient we're going to right click and take it to where we have the black shape and leave then you click on copy fill here and you can see the fill is copied to this particular shape and then you need to delete this text and click on the good shape now right click or we have this slash way we can take off the stroke okay click on set outline color so we, it takes off the outline just like that and click on finish once you're done with that and you can see how nice this design looks okay so we're going to bring in every other information like the date the time the venue and every other stuff to finish up this design. Open up Microsoft Word and copy out with Ambassador Miracle. Copy that. And then open Corel Draw. Click on your text tool and paste. Okay. That's cool. Maintain font and formatting course. We are going to format this text. Okay. So we're going to make this um monument extended. That's the font you are going to use. Uh, monument extended then highlight ambassador miracle and set this monument extended to bold okay so we have monument extended bold on ambassador miracle okay this looks cool and nice then we're going to set uh then we are going to set the alignment to right okay so we have something that looks like this take it up and place it just right here cool and give it the white color just like that you can increase the size of the font a little and then that looks cool and nice then we're going to copy out join us as we navigate copy that and then bring it to Corel draw click on the text tool and paste it here then we're going to click on discard font and formatting okay so we can have join us as we navigate also here reduce the font Hold Shift, click on with Ambassador Miracle, click on R, and when you do that, you align different objects to the same uh, direction. Okay, so I'm going to take Joy Loss as we navigate upwards. That's cool and nice. Then you can change this font to Poppins because we are using just um, three different typefaces, two typefaces, but one different typeface, which is the focal point of the design so i'm going to use poppins here recently i love using poppins because it's very clean and it's readable okay so i'm going to increase the font size just like that you can see how cool it is then i'm going to open up microsoft word again and copy this vital information which has to be on the flyer i'm going to click and drag and right click to duplicate join us as we navigate and the reason for this is because i want to use this text format to write this other text so press ctrl a on your keyboard press ctrl v to paste that and you can click on discard font and format so it takes the same font format on corel draw okay change the font size to nine 
okay uh let's try it okay that's cool then we're going to break this text from here so we have something like this break in here so this is cool I need to take this off click on the shape tool and adjust um the needing okay just like that and take it upward take it up so we can have enough space down here take it close to navigate just like that and we're going to open up microsoft word again and copy powered by the stretch ambassadors copy that and take it to quail draw duplicate again just like what we have been doing before it's very simple you hold shift click and drag okay click on the object you want to duplicate click and drag hold shift to remain on a straight line just like that and right click before you leave then you're going to highlight the whole text okay by clicking on the text double click to highlight press ctrl a and ctrl v to paste then click on ok make sure it's discard font and formatting click on ok then you have something that looks like this break powered by so we have powered by the stretch ambassadors so we are going to add the same um, light yellow color we have been using so we can have contrast on this part of the design highlight with and give it this light yellow highlight the phone number and give it this light yellow highlight powered by and give it light yellow as well and this looks very cool and very nice then we're going to highlight the whole stuff here and rotate it but before we rotate we're going to add the dates the time and venue before then so click on this ambassador miracle because we want to use this uh font format okay the text format so click and drag right click before you leave to duplicate so we have two texts okay we have a duplicate of this particular text so you can highlight anywhere up to width from here anywhere up to width and delete so we have just this i don't want to use the yellow uh, part of the text okay so i'm going to open up microsoft word and copy sunday 26 february 2023 copy that and take it to Corel draw i like this ctrl a and ctrl v then click on discard font and format in it on ok so we get something like this this is cool so we can adjust the leading again so we have this just like that so we're going to align this text to the left okay so click on where you have your alignment and click left so it's aligned to the left just like that uh we're going to reduce this font a little take it up take it up so we have enough space down here to add time and venue so i'm going to open up microsoft word and copy the venue and copy that take it to you Corel draw and i'm going to adjust the leading here because the text is looking uh like it's not too cool so adjust the leading a little just like that then we're going to duplicate this text and just like what we have been doing before right click before you leave and then we're going to type 2 pm 2 pm here you can make this pm to be small like that just like that and make sure it's aligned so select the two text and press l on your keyboard to align to the left as simple as that then we're going to duplicate um the text with um poppins because i like to paste the venue with this particular text with poppins then highlight that and press ctrl v discard fonts and formatting okay so we have this particular text with the same format of the poppins font okay i'm going to break the text here and make sure it's aligned to the left bring it here and i'm going to break it again so we have something like this cool and nice so i'm going to place this text here okay and we're going to represent the date type and venue with different icons that suit this particular uh text let's bring in the icons 
click on the date icon time and venue icon click and drag it to corel draw and then it opens up just like this but then we can't change the color of this icon because these are all bitmaps they are all bitmaps and we for us to change the color we have to convert it to vector and to convert it to vector we have to trace this particular icon and to trace that click the time icon separate the different icons so we can trace them separately click on the very first icon click on where you have your trace bitmap outline trace and line art okay and then it opens up this dialog box where you can see the original image and the final result so if the final result looks okay but you hit on okay just like that and we have the the final result here and the original so you can delete this original you can see we can change this color and it looks very cool i we're going to do the same to every other icon just right here i'm going to do the same so for this particular one the final result is not just like the original image we have here so we're going to increase the details increase the details so it shows all the details just like that hit on ok and then we have this you can change the color and delete the original click on the venue icon and do the same again and this time around the original image is perfect so you hit on ok so we are able to trace all this stuff and change their colors so we're going to place them accordingly okay reduce dates and place it here reduce time and place it here and reduce venue place it here again this is perfect but the size of these icons are not uh matching each other so we're going to adjust the size of the icons again okay so once you're done with that select the three icons and press c to centralize the three icons and you can see how cool it is so we are going to give these three icons light yellow and that's exactly what we have yeah, and to finalize the whole stuff, we are going to rotate this to match the shapes we have here. So for the date, time, and venue, we're going to rotate this to match the green shape just like that. So we have this, and then we need to highlight every other thing happening here. Click and rotate that just like that, and then place it close here. So this is very cool and very nice. You can type team around here but i wouldn't like to do that i'll just leave it the way it is at uh, the last thing i'm going to do to make this flyer design pop uh, you know many people do this on their flyers you can see many people adding lens layers on their flyer it makes the flyer design to look very professional i'm going to bring the very first lens layer which i have here uh drag and drop inside corel draw then I'm going to i'm going to click on my transparency to click on merge mode and click on screen screen okay and bring it right here increase the size and place it down here so i'm going to rotate this uh lens flare rotate just like that and place it down here you can see how cool it is it looks very clean and very nice okay so i have another lens flare i would like to try out if it works very well on this particular flyer, I click on the lens flare and bring it to Corel Draw and change the match both also to this level. I'm going to click on Add. Okay, let's see how it looks like. Wow, this looks very perfect and nice. So we need to reduce that because you're going to duplicate it to different uh, areas of the flyer. Click, right click to duplicate that. So we have something like that click again bring it to where we have the do but right click before you get to duplicate so we have something that looks like this so this is our final design and to export that press ctrl a press ctrl e to export and then make sure you do your necessary settings choose the location where you want to save the file and then hit on export make sure your savers type is at jpeg then you hit on export and when you hit on export you're going to see this dialog box and make sure you set your quality to highest RGB color mode and hit on OK. So on my preview, I can see there is a white and space below the design, which is not supposed to be so. Then we're going to check what's there. To check that, press Ctrl A to highlight everything happening here. Then we're going to see different items. Okay, you can see the last play we have here is 
uh, outside the canvas. That's why it's showing the white face. And many people have these same challenges. And whenever you have this challenge where you have extra white space at the end of your design, you're going to check out for any object that is outside the frame of your design and then you cut that out. So for me, it's the lens flare. So I'm going to use my shape to, to adjust the lens flare and take it inside. So it won't happen again. Once you're done with that, export your design and your design is set to be delivered. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this particular design and I'm going to answer all your questions on the comment. Thank you so much for watching this video and expect another episode of Redesignify with Corel Draw. Thank you so much and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.